Hello my lovies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face doing, doing, using makeup that is all in or around five euro or below. So I went through my entire makeup collection, all my affordable drugstore makeup and I decided I would pick out a couple of products that I want to, not a couple, but there's a lot of products here that are all in or around five euro or under. They're like five dollars, five pounds. They're all in or around that same currency because I do realize I have a lot of US followers and UK followers. So I wanted to kind of incorporate just all into this video. So what I wanted to do is just show you products that are really affordable and they work amazingly well. These aren't just products that I just said, ah yeah, that, that kind of fits in with the price tag. Let's throw it in. I don't really like it. No, these are all makeup products that I swear by. I love, I feature a lot on my channel and I said I would put them all on my face today and show you like a full face for an affordable price. So if you wanna see a full face using products that are under five euro, five dollars, five pounds, then keep watching. I have searched my whole house high and low for bobby pins and they do not exist anymore in this house. They've all disappeared. So I have to try and tuck my hair behind my ear and just hope that it stays there. I'm kicking this off with using the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. This is actually my second one of these. This is a healthy glow pore minimizing effect primer. I adore this. In Ireland, it's around four euro, I think, like 350, something like that. I believe in the US, it's a little bit more expensive. And I'm not sure in the UK, because I couldn't find it on any UK websites if anyone's from the UK please hop at each other in the comment section and let people know where you can buy this primer in the UK. So I'm just going to slather that all over my face. Because it's summertime, I like my skin to look a bit more radiant. I am well aware that I'm oily. I talk about that at length <laughs> all the time on my channel and you guys know I've oily skin, but I feel like this primer just makes my skin look radiated. Radiated? Yeah, we're not a radiator. It looks radiant but not oily if that makes any sense. So once you initially apply it, it looks like hydrating and radiant on the skin, but, but when you put your foundation on top, it's not quite as luminescent. The foundation that I'm taking today is from Catrice. And this is the HD liquid coverage. I was gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation because that is definitely under $5, five euro, five pounds, whatever. Let's not get all hung up on the currency. This foundation, I believe, is about six euro, so it doesn't quite fit under the five euro, but it is the most affordable foundation I can get for the quality. I think it is fantastic. The other one I would recommend is obviously the Wet n Wild one or the one from Penny's, the My Perfect Fit foundation. I have the shade number 040, and this is Warm Beige. It's the darkest shade that they have, and I am hoping that it matches me. This comes with a dropper. I actually need to do a wear test on this foundation because I do believe that I never have done that. Actually, I'm gonna get some darkening drops. I honestly don't know where I'd be this summer without the Catrice Prime and Fine darkening drops. These are just amazing and they don't change the consistency of the foundation. Again, they're under like five euro as well. There are foundations obviously that you can get for under a fiver, but I haven't found anything that I really, really, really love. So that is why I haven't included anything else because I do realize that I could get something for under a fiver, but that one is a euro more expensive and definitely worth it in my opinion. This just gives you an amazing coverage. I just feel like it covers everything I needed to cover and it just looks like my skin only better. So I'm pretty happy with my foundation as it is. I think it looks lovely. It's quite nice. Ooh, it didn't blend a bit into my neck. Ah! I think it looks really nice, really fresh and super affordable. So let's move on to the eyeballs. In my opinion, Catrice, Wet n Wild and Essence are the most bomb brands ever for affordable makeup. So if you go with either of those brands or one of those three brands, you're going to find something amazing. So going with the theme of those brands, I'm gonna take the Essence eyeshadow, ba eyeshadow base. I'm just gonna pop that onto my eyelid. This is the I Love Stage eyeshadow base. I must be using this, I'd say, for about five years, like maybe longer. I feel like it's one of the best eyeshadow bases ever. It's really affordable. It's like 250, I think. For affordable eyeshadows, I searched high and low for affordable eyeshadows and I came back to these eyeshadows. It's just because they are so amazing and the price is just like 
oh, right on point. And they're only 450 here in Ireland and they are the Makeup Revolution. These are the Reloaded palettes. So we've got the Iconic Division palette and then we've got the Neutrals 2. And I have used both of these palettes to death. You've probably seen them featured on my channel a ton. So just before I apply my eyeshadow, I'm just going to set my eyeshadow base and I'm going to take the Banana Brighten Up Powder. I think you guys probably suspected that. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite under eye setting powders and it's great at setting the lid and it was only 250 or three euro or something like that. And again, Essence just kill it when it comes to this product. It is bomb. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Iconic Division Reloaded palette first and I'm gonna go in with this shade up here. So I'm just gonna apply this to the crease. Nothing too amazing as we start because we're just building up that crease color. I'm thinking I wanna do a halo look today. It's been a hot minute. I'm thinking something like rose gold because I'm looking at the golds and then this palette is totally inspiring me to go with something rose gold. So I'm gonna take this shade down here at the bottom. It's like a warm brown. Well, it's actually kind of more of like a mustard shade. I'm just gonna pop that in through my crease as well, kind of going in the same position as that previous color, just to kind of add a bit of warmth and to build up the crease. I'm gonna move on just to a little smaller brush and this is the Morphe M505. I'm gonna continue with that same yellow shade but just kind of adding a little bit more intensity in through the crease. I really want this kind of blown out as well so I'm just going to slather it all over my eyes and just really, really blow it out. Okay, I'm gonna go into the neutrals too and I'm gonna take this brown shade here and I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush again and I'm just going to add that to the outer and inner corner of my eye. Just kind of swipe it into the crease as well a little bit, just kind of doing our best to get the halo right. Pretty happy with that. And next I wanna go in with that same Iconic Division palette and I'm gonna take this like purple shade, I guess it is. And I'm gonna take this on a really teeny tiny brush. This is the Morphe M506. And I'm going to position it in the same place as I put that brown, but obviously keep it a little bit lower in the outer and the owner, owner? <laughs> inner corner of my eye. And obviously I'm leaving the inside blank because that's where I'm going to place my highlighting shade. I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics. This is the Total Cover Coverage Concealer. And I'm just gonna squeeze a bit of that out onto the back of my hand. This is, I believe, about two, three euro, so super affordable. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on a little Wet n Wild brush and just pop it into the center and then just kind of blend it out with my finger. Taking the neutrals too, I'm gonna to take this shade here and I'm gonna pop that into the center part of my eye. Oh, that's really light. It might possibly be a bit too light. Maybe we'll go in with this shade here. It's like a pinky shade. And I'm just gonna pop that into my center part of my eye. Oh, that's much better. And then just take my finger and just kind of blend out the edges as well because I don't want really harsh edges. Even though that pink is such a beautiful color, I'm thinking of just adding a little bit of gold. So I'm going to take it from this Iconic Division palette and I'm just going to take the gold shade and just pop a little bit on top of it. Not too much though. Kind of make it more rose gold. Yeah, I really like that now. And I'm gonna take this cream shade, or, well, actually, it's straight up, like, white, and I'm just gonna pop that into the inner portion of my eye. Oh, my. And underneath my very hairy brow, which, thank God, they are getting done tomorrow because I just can't deal with them anymore. I just blend that out with my finger. Taking Teddy Liner from Essence, and this costs, like, two euro. I'm just gonna place this into my waterline. Actually, I think it's like 129 even. So for my brows, guys, I'm going to fill them in with this little brow kit from Rimmel. This brow kit is 550, so it is going overboard. I wanted to use the pomade from Freedom Makeup, but it's eight euro, well, it's 7.99, so I just thought that was a bit expensive. 
So this is the best one I can get for the price. And obviously one of the best brow products ever has to be the Make Me Brow from Essence. This is the light one. I'm just gonna pop that through my brows just to set them in place. And now I am going to apply my mascara and I'm taking the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This mascara is a hot mess at the moment. This mascara is 350. Oh no, the plunger thing came out of it. That is not good. What is going on with this? Oh no, I can't use that mascara. Okay, so that mascara is going in the bin. I need to now find a different one. Okay, crisis averted. I found this one. It is the exact same mascara, but it just does a different thing. This is a false lash effect, whereas that one is the volume one. And I prefer the pink one than the green one. I don't know why, but I just, I just do. I'm gonna apply this to my upper lashes first because then I'm going to apply my concealer and set my face. For concealer, I have two that I adore. So we've already seen the BH Cosmetics Pro Concealer. I really like that one. But I also have the Wet n Wild one and the Wet n Wild one is super affordable as well. I am covered in makeup. My handy dandy wipes. <laughs> Thank God for wipes. I'm gonna place the Wet n Wild one underneath my eyes. This is in the shade Medium Peach. Seems like a bit of an odd shade for me to get, but oh, it's actually a pretty decent match. So I'm gonna use this underneath my eyes. And the reason why I'm using this one first is because it has the doe foot wand so I can kind of like scoop out the edges and kind of make them a bit more cleaner. BH Cosmetics is great at brightening, but it's not ideal for like cleanup because it doesn't have a really precise applicator but I'm just gonna apply that to any of the places I want to brighten my face. And then I'm just going to blend all that in with my beauty blender. Both concealers are just amazing and for the price, I'm gonna set them in place with my Essence Brighten Up Powder. Okay, and to set my face, I'm gonna take my wet, wet, well, wet and wild. Why can I not talk today? It's like I am just tripping over all of my words. I'm taking it in beige neutral. This just really sets my face and adds like the teeniest amount of coverage. It reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Let's move on to the under eye area again. I'm gonna go back in with the, a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take that yellow shade and just pop that under the whole under eye area. I'm gonna take the dark purple again that I used before and pop that underneath the outer corner of my eye and the inner portion. And then just to add some more dimension to the under eye area, I'm just gonna take that gold from this palette and pop that underneath there too. I'm gonna to take the pink from this palette, this shimmery pink, which is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of Rose Pigment from MAC. I'm just gonna pop that over the gold. I just really like that color together. It's just like a really pretty rose gold. Okay, I look like a little bit of a potato right now, so I'm going to contour my face. I'm gonna bronze my face first. I'm gonna take the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is like, three euro I think and I'm gonna take this on a wet and wild p60 brush guys if you can pick up these brushes like get the p60 brush from wet and wild it is the most amazing bronzing brush ever I've been using the one from Inglot for so long and I love it but it is really pricey it's like 60 euro and I feel like this is a complete dupe for it and I've been using this one so much more I need more of these p60 brushes it's ideal to bronze up the skin it just adds a nice bronze to the skin. I really like this bronzer as well, actually. And then if you wanted to go more for like a contour shade, I guess you could go in with the Makeup Revolution. This trio is like my ride or die. It's four euro and 50 cent. It's one of the best trios ever. I featured this on my channel for maybe two years now, guys, and I still have the original OG one and it's still pretty decent. Contour shade is not too intense. So you can use a really light hand with it if you are fair. And then if you have medium, I don't even know what type of skin I have, but if you have like medium skin or medium skin tone, then you can build it up. If you have deep skin, I wouldn't recommend this. The blush will work fine and the highlight might be a bit ashy, but definitely not the contour, it won't work on deep skin. I feel like you could use the blush from this 
of course, but I just wanted to give you a couple of other options because this palette is 450, it's great because it has everything in it, but a couple of other options, obviously the Essence blushes, they're only like two, three euro a piece. This is one of my most used ones, this is called Rose Me Up, so I've used this in tons of tutorials before, so I might mix this and the one from the Makeup Revolution palette, sure, why not? I love this one because it just gives a natural blush. To highlight my face, I'm gonna take one of my all-time favorite highlighters ever. Like I said, I could take the highlighter from this, which I absolutely adore, but I wanna show you this one because I know I've mentioned this in tons of videos before in favor. This is one of the best drugstore highlights on the planet. This is called Precious Petals, the highlight that I wore to Michelle's wedding. I just feel like it complements my skin tone so well. Like, just look at that and it's blinding and it's under a fiver so you can't really go wrong. Okay so for lips the final touch I am going to use mauve lip liner from NYX because hello it's my ride or die and you know why would I not and it is under three euro even this lip liner it's so affordable so I'm just gonna line my lips with this first could have actually done with pairing that before I used the butcher hey ho and then I'm gonna take two lip liquid lipsticks these are the mega last liquid cat suits from wet and wild and I love these so the first shade I'm taking is rebel rose I'm just going to place that kind of all over my lips but leave the middle bit blank because I'm going to use a different shade I really like these and again they're under a fiver then I'm gonna pop this shade Nudie Patootie in the middle, which is kind of like a cool tone shade. That was cool toned, just if you're wondering. I'm just gonna mix them together with my finger. So that is it guys, this is a completed look using all products for under a fiver. I hope you really enjoyed this video, I loved creating it for you and telling you what products I love that are under a fiver and you mean you can't go wrong with the drugstore, they just knock it out of the park these days and they just have amazing products. I'm gonna go love yous and leave yous and I will talk to you guys in my next video if there's any video requests, send them my way and I will try and get them done for you guys. I will talk to you all in my next video, Mwah. bye guys, I love you.